All right, another week comes driving, and it's absolutely not going great as like it was last week. I probably am just gonna end up combining these two weeks because there's just nothing to be found at the uh, baseball place. I got a, that that little pile of bottles. I just pulled that water bottle and that one pop can out of here. But I mean, look at this. This chair is not even metal; it's plastic. Like, look at this. Look at this crap. This is ridiculous. And like last week, three places, can't even check. There's cars, door, fire, and then the place right here at the end of this uh, that I usually hit on my way out. Can't check them. They all got cars there. Fire definitely looks like they're doing something. Door, maybe. But that place, no, because I know they're they're usually doing something as well. I know they're, I, I do know when there's a car there, there definitely is people there. You know, people doing stuff. Like at fire, too. I could tell they were right by the dumpster in that back half, and they had a truck and a trailer. There's two trucks. I could tell they were actually doing something, so... I say it's not looking promising. Um, trash. I don't know if it's gonna look any better uh, because it uh, kind of just rained uh, a little bit. It did. There was a little bit of rain. I don't know if you can see it. So I don't think trash doesn't look like it's gonna be that great either. There's only one redeeming quality on my way over here. In the corner of our street, there's a bowling alley. And they got a dumpster on the side of the building, and it looks like there's stuff in it. But I also see a little bit of metal on the side of the building, so I don't know. Uh, if there's gonna be anything in the dumpster too, but of course they're open till I think 10 today, so I'm not gonna even be able to check. Them. I don't really want to. I might take a peek like on my way back home, but I don't really want to like go through it or anything while the place is open, even though there's nobody on that side. I think everyone's on the other side of the building. Uh, but then there's a camera right there, so you know, just to avoid confrontation and avoid losing the possibility if there is anything good to avoid losing it. I always try and go to places when they're closed, I don't like doing it. And places are open so so that's that so we'll see if anything can appear over here which i highly doubt because this area is usually pretty dead uh but we'll see Alrighty, so i kind of left you guys hanging off uh from last night but so dumpsters there was absolutely nothing nothing we found just that little those little bit of bottles um and then i came back and then on my way home i went not down the street, down the one over there, and then kind of, I wanted to check out the pile over there, the, uh, pot, there was a little pile over there, because, uh, they bought that house and moved in, like, a month or so ago, and they've been, you know, I can tell they're doing, you know, little minor renovations and that, and have been putting some stuff out, um, there was a sink, bathroom sink I noticed had the faucet and the nice, and the drain on it too, a nice piece of brass on it, so I got, so I grabbed that when I came home, uh, Dropped it off to, you know, clean it up, put the sink out for trash. Um, so there's that. I gotta deal with that downstairs. And then, um, trash picking. Actually, it was also very dead. It was not a great weekend. But that microwave, that was kind of like the saving grace. Um, uh, at our grandmother's next door, um, the people upstairs, they're moving out. Uh, new owners bought it, and uh, they're kicking them out, and then they're moving into the bottom. And they have renters, new renters for uh, the upstairs, so they're moving out. Uh, so they threw out that microwave. So I, uh, my grandmother, she was out, or our grandmother, she was out there. So she uh, took that, uh, took that and put it up on the porch for me. Uh, she took the plate out of it. She wanted a big pl glass plate out of it. And this microwave is huge. It's like the other one, uh, like that inverter one I found the other week. It's huge. The microwave itself. As you can see, I got the egg coil cleaned up. Um, it was so that was huge. And then I found a little bit of bottles. Those two brown paper bags. I found those. And when I came home, James had this. I seen him putting this uh, battery in the shed. I don't even. I don't even know where he got it from. I'm assuming he got it from our neighbor right here. But and there's more bottles. And then this is full. You can see all sorts of bottles. Bottles. I gotta take bottles back. I've been meaning to for the last three weeks, but I've forgotten how to clean up the pears out here. But I also forgot to do it last night. Um, this needs to be cut up too, uh, and this I want to cut it, uh, cut this so I can fold this down flat. Uh, so cut the bar on that, and then this I won't, our ant maybe I don't even know where this came from either. But there's that. Found this in the roadway. So I mean it was just little things, and then you know some other stuff that wasn't found on the curb, but that has appeared. So this is a little the pile of little pile of shred we got going at the moment. Oh, and our other neighbor right here, she gave us her, uh, 
hook thing, or a plant hook, whatever you want to call it, or whatever the hell it's called. The bottom of it broke um, that she had out front. Yeah, the bottom of it broke, as you can see. So, gave that to us for scrap. So, that's pretty much everything on that end of the trap, uh, of the fines end. Um, so like I said, the microwave that I got to deal with, but I want to show you the shed. The shed is all built. It's a nice 10 by 12, bunch of bottles from them working. Uh, but it's a nice, uh, that doesn't really tell you anything, but it's a nice, uh, big 10 by 12. As you can see, it might be able to get a little dark in here, but I don't know, you can see it pretty good. So we've got the snowblowers in here. Um, there's go James' go-kart. This trailer um, hitch thing that's got this bag on it that we used uh, when we went on vacation. All the lift carts, generator. And as you can see, you even got the snowblower in here on a lift cart. So there's enough height. And there's, you can stand in here. And I got a little bit of room above my head, which is good. Um, so you can stand in it. Definitely in the middle. And you can, you can still hear on the edge. Sort of. Just don't move your head up. You will hit your head. But, uh, so this is kind of the new workshop space uh, that we got going. So, we have this set up now so we don't have to have crap outside, which was the point of this, of the shed. So we don't have, um, all, all the crap out in the yard on this ramp. This is the one that I found the other year. This, I think, was like the first or second year I found it. A little temporary ramp. Oh, boy. Oh, it's starting to rain. Yep, you can hear it. You can hear it starting to rain. And uh, it's got no no electricity or anything to it. Um, James is gonna run, take this extension cord. He's got PVC pipe. There's a or outside plugs right there. He's gonna take it, drill it in. He's, so he's gonna. That's how he's gonna run power out here. Uh, got a light already. So that's how he's gonna run power out here. So, and of course, now it's starting to rain. Uh, well, like I said, I'm pretty sure that covers everything I wanted to cover. The sheds, uh, the new sheds done. Uh, we didn't really find anything trash picking. Oh, the other dumpster at the bowling alley. I didn't end up going. I didn't check it on my way back. And I didn't end up going out later that night because it rained. So I didn't end up doing that. Um, and James said that actually it was on the other side of the building the weekend of the 4th when we were walking past it to go to our friend's house. Uh, he said it was over there, so apparently they've been doing renovations for a while now and just have now moved the dumpster to the other side, and I just never know, never seen it. Oh, I think it stopped raining. So. So. That is that. Uh, I'll deal with this when I, when I get to it. And, uh, yeah, that's that. So. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Hopefully there will actually be something to find. Alright, I wanted to show you guys this real quick. It's 11 o'clock at night. I just scooped this microwave. I went and returned uh, the bottles that I had earlier. Um, when I was coming back down the street, it was up there at the corner. I seen it. I wasn't 100% sure if it was trash or not, because it was sitting next on front of a guy's uh, pickup truck with his camper. So I don't know. I mean, I was... It was one of the things where I wasn't 100% sure. I was pretty sure, but not 100%, so I figured, well, I'll leave it for a couple hours. Uh, if it's still there in a few hours, um, you know, it's fair game. Uh, fair game at that point. So, checked back now, 6 o'clock here. And that was 5 o'clock when I seen it. Still sitting there, so I grabbed it. This thing is super heavy. Look at it. It's so old, it doesn't even have a, have a turntable in it. Uh, it's just the glass plate. There's no turntable in it. So, this thing's old, so I'm pretty sure it'll be copper. I was pr that's what I was pretty sure when I seen it, but... And uh, there's no one, out, no one out to ask, so... Uh, I just, like I said, I figured... I'll wait a couple hours if it's still there, and no, nobody else scooped it up. It's, uh, it's mine, and it's definitely fair game. If you want it, you can come get it. It'll be sitting out. It'll be sitting here in my trailer. Uh, till tomorrow. I'll deal with this tomorrow. Or whenever I get to it, but yeah, this is old, old GE. Actually, I wonder if the plate in it on this one might actually be worth something, and it's pretty clean too. So I actually might look this up, might look it up. So we'll see. Like I said, I'll deal with this tomorrow. Oh, I took those bottles back, nine bucks. Uh, she rounded up 
for me because it was like eight ninety. So she I'll just round she said she just uh, round it up to nine for me. So I'm a regular at that bottle place anyway, so and I you know she knows that I'm pretty sure it's she's the owner. So uh you know, extra ten cents. And uh on a microwave that I would you figure I never would have found this until maybe Saturday. When I, if I went to go dumpster diving, but it's supposed to be super hot Saturday, so I might not even go Saturday. Now I might get pushed till Sunday. And if it gets pushed till Sunday, one of the earlier birds would have found it if no one else would have seen it before now. So I was surprised it was still there because it's uh, at the corner, and that's a very busy road with a very busy intersection right there. That's why I was surprised it was still there. But... So, anyways, already starting off the uh, finds for the week.